Hey, what's up guys? It's All Sauce Mike and you're watching Friday Flavor. Um, if you're new to the channel, Friday Flavor is where we discuss hot sauce. We'll pick a hot sauce that day and we'll discuss heat, flavor, labeling, texture, bottling, anything that comes to mind that day. Um, yeah, so for today we're on video number two. We are working with Hell Fire Detroit. Um, the sauce we will be going over is the Bourbon Habanero ghost pepper which was featured in season 13 of hot ones so let's check it out so if you missed the first video we discussed the cabernet habanero reaper which was this one we discussed the labeling um if you want to check that one out just click the box right up here above it'll take you to the first video and you can start the series from there all right so for this guy this one was the third one and final one to be released in the series. Um, again, it's 200,000 to 400,000 on a scalable chart, which isn't bad. I mean, it's got ghost pepper. And then again, Hellfire Detroit is known for flavor first, heat last. They want you to enjoy it. I mean, if it's gonna kick your ass, they also want you to have a flavor. So these guys are known to have flavor. Um, the ingredients, let's read off to see what's inside. We got apple cider vinegar, fire roasted habanero, water, bourbon, uh, it doesn't say what type of bourbon, sea salt, lime juice, smoked ghost chili pepper, olive oil, and black pepper. All right, awesome. So one thing I did notice in the ingredients is that no preservatives, so no fillers. You get the full flavor and everything from the ingredients and bottling. So let's get this bad boy open. Let's see. What a shake. Alright, so let's give it a smell. See what we're working with. Ooh. Has a good smell with it. But you don't get that nose burning. <laughs> From the ghost pepper like it's very subtle it's not it's like more on the back you get more of the habanero smell first i love the way the texture is i mean you can see the seeds and everything in there yeah, if you notice this one it's a little bit runnier than the wine one which is natural Got the handy dandy spoon. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit more runnier. You guys can see it. But yeah. Wow, that's got some good taste. Not really much flavor from the bourbon. <clears throat> you do get flavor from the habanero. The apple cider vinegar you definitely taste right in the front end. Then the heat's in the back. <laughs> but let's get another one. This would be good with some pizza. Yeah, not overwhelming with the heat. Like the heat's letting you know it's definitely there. It's not like overwhelming. It's enjoyable. Flavor is what takes the first effect. <laughs> so it's not like you're getting punched in the face. Yeah, that's the one thing I do like about these guys, their sauces. There's not much in there to fill up the taste from the ingredients. So everything's all natural. There's like no fillers, no preservatives. But you definitely get the taste from the habanero at first. Then in the back end, you'll get the heat from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the ghost pepper. Man, right here, you got a good sauce though, for sure. Shout out to Hellfire Detroit. 
I will definitely um, be finishing this sauce before the end of the week. <laughs> if you guys want to check out their website, I'll leave their uh, link in the description box down below. I'll also leave a link to the first video of the series down below as well. But yeah, no, no, I give this guy uh, for the heat wise more on a seven. Flavor definitely eight. It's got some good taste. Texture, I enjoy it. I mean, look at it. You get the seeds and everything that's in there. It's all natural. Like, yeah, they've got something good here. Definitely doing another one. All right, guys. So for the last video, the final hot sauce bottle we will be discussing is the beer habanero scorpion that'll be in uh, next friday's video that one i can't wait to try that one that's got a, a unique beer in it that it was made with all right guys so if you find this review knowledgeable or useful of any some sort please hit the like button hit the subscribe button for uh, any other videos hit that bell for future updates Drop a comment below if you have any suggestions for me to try up anything new. Suggest any other sauces of any of sorts. But yeah, I'm Sauce Mike and thanks for watching Friday Flavor.